I have a great theory behind what Cool Cat is really about. And actually, everything in the movie supports this theory pretty much 100%. So let's take a look. I think, in truth, Cool Cat is a mentally disturbed man-child in his 20s. He must have had some kind of emotional childhood trauma that made him scared of facing the world as his real self. So, as protection from this trauma, he retreated inside wearing a cat suit, which is like uh, a protective barrier from the chaotic world in which he lives. And it's the only way he can manage to go outside and face people is when he's hidden inside that orange cat costume. I'm not sure how he can see through the cat suit, but he must have some kind of a system in place for that. And this kind of thing can happen to a person. I used to wear the same jacket as a kid for a year to school. I didn't feel safe going to school without wearing that jacket. This man must not feel safe being outside without his cat suit on. Cool Cat's self-esteem must be shot to hell. He might even be suicidal. This ties in to why everyone is praising him constantly, and why he has all these egomaniacal posters of himself with his own name praising him how cool he is. I bet those posters are something people have made for him as a motivational tool to help him feel better so he doesn't succumb to crippling depression and they did this out of pity for him because he constantly needs positive reinforcement and praise in order to exist or he'll have a mental breakdown. So he needs to have people constantly remind him how cool he is to get through the day without turning suicidal. He also needs to matter in life or he'll be struck with debilitating depression. As a result of this need to matter and to have meaning in life, he became possessed by a delusion that he is some sort of super, superhero saving the kids from bullying. I think it was by this point that local neighborhood kids have taken pity on him, and they are trying to help him by fulfilling that fantasy for him. So, behind his back, the kids set up this scheme where they will play along with his fantasy and pretend they are bullied to present Cool Cat with an opportunity to help them so his self-esteem is raised. This means Butch the Bully is not a genuine bully. He is actually friends with the rest of the kids, and they are all in on it, and they are all playing a role, and Butch the Bully is just playing his role. How do you think Butch knows Maria's phone number in, or in order to text her bullying remarks? Well, because they are actually friends and re in reality, and this is all an act done in collusion between these kids to make Cool Cat think he is helping them so he doesn't feel crippling depression that might make him commit suicide, and instead his self-esteem improves so he won't be scared to go out without his cat costume on. So the kids are actually setting up these fake situations in order to make Cool Cat feel as if, as if he is saving the day. And Cool Cat is so clueless, he doesn't realize this. And it also explains why the acting from the kids is so bad. Cool Cat's so brave. Yeah, he's a real crime fighter. Because they really are acting for Cool Cat's sake. Cool Cat is so dumb and has his head so far up his ass that he gets he gets fooled by this shitty acting. Well, 
Now, what about this police officer, you might say? Well, this is pretty elaborate because he is in on it too, probably. That's why he shows up when Butch the Bully gets chased by Cool Cat, seemingly by coincidence. Except it's not by coincidence. It's all set up. For all we know, the police car is a prop, and this cop actor is pretending to arrest Butch, when in reality he'll just let him loose a block away out of Cool Cat's sight. Otherwise, why would a real police officer arrest a child who is being chased by a man in a cat costume? Wouldn't it make more sense to be suspicious of the man chasing the child? But see, in accordance with my theory, it makes perfect sense. The gun they find, I bet that gun is fake. Again, Cool Cat is so stupid, he probably can't tell the difference between a real and a fake gun. It's not like they ever fire it. After all, why would there be an abandoned gun in a wealthy neighborhood like that, where everybody obeys the law? They're not in the ghetto on the south side of Chicago. Again, it only makes sense if this is all a trick, an elaborate trick to make Cool Cat feel like he's a hero. You will realize that Cool Cat doesn't actually save anyone or fix anything. He thinks he does, which feeds his delusion and improves his self-esteem. And that's the whole point. It's okay so long as he thinks he's being useful. I mean, Butch getting arrested by a cop who randomly comes along out of the blue? Come on, it's totally set up to make Cool Cat feel like he saved the day. What was Cool Cat going to do to Butch anyway once he caught him? That's what I wonder. Maybe he was going to beat the shit out of him. So, by having a cop show up and pretend to arrest Butch, you know, that solves that problem. Because when it comes to bullying, Cool Cat gives terrible advices that wouldn't save anyone. So, why is it that his stupid tactics actually end up working out in his favor? Well, that's because he's being played. Why else would Butch the Bully run away simply because Cool Cat yells at him to do so? Why do you want to be a bully? Bullies never have any friends. And Butch the Bully runs away. Well, because Butch is playing along with the scheme to make Cool Cat feel good about himself. See, this isn't a cute children's movie, the way it seems to look on the surface. This is a dark movie about an emotionally disturbed adult. Daddy Derek must be a furry and probably a pervert, and he goes so far as to invite a skank over to his house to dress up in the cat costume, because she is a furry as well, and she pretends to be Cool Cat's mother at Daddy Derek's request, and he's probably paying her. Look how clean we got everything going right here. It looks great. Thanks for your help in the kitchen. Oh, you know I love to help you all the time. I'm going to give me a hug. Mm, mm. Mm. Now, imagine what sort of dark childhood this man pretending to be Cool Cat must have had to end up the way he did. I mean, his father is obviously mentally disturbed if he convinced some woman to play, act, to play act as his mother by also wearing a cat costume. See, this is a very strange family. Again, my theory fit, fits completely into this. And this is like a total M. Night Shyamalan type twist. It's not cool cat saving the kids. It's actually the kids saving Cool Cat. But hey, it's only a theory. A film theory. There's no ghost here, and that's because the Ghostbusters car is here!